What's up guys? Welcome back to another Fortnite video. I know I haven't posted in quite a while. Uh, I've been doing some revamping on my base. Um, I'm going to be coming out with tutorials for every single amplifier. Uh, so that way it'll help you guys out. Because I know I like post my uh, amplifiers kind of wishy-washy. But I'm going to post them in order. Um, and then... Also, I did make an update to home base, so I believe right here there used to not be a floor tile. You need to put a floor freeze trap right here because this is a flinger spot for the north side of the storm shield. And then I don't know if I still need this because I modified my lobber shield because originally I believe the lobber shield went something like this something like this and then the flinger wouldn't throw from there it would throw down there but I didn't want the flinger walking all the way down there just to throw because that can lead to a lot of other possibilities he could possibly hit something other than the top of the storm shield so I just took these out added a floor up here and then that solves that up um, I think there was a wall here you can take that wall out and just put a dynamo right there and then I also cut some of the traps on the inside of here. So it's every other wall. Every other wall there's a... Uh, every other wall there's a sound wall. It's like you skip a wall, put one there, skip a wall, put one there, skip a wall, put one there, and then so on and so forth. And then, um, let's see, what else did I change? Oh yeah, I added these three fins up here. Um, so on the lobber shield, originally it just came, it started right there, came across, all the way across too high. But I added these three fins because if you don't have those three fins there, there is a flinger that will walk all the way into this corner, and he will sit right here and he will throw out the storm shield. So you need that. Um, you also need a flinger spot right there as well to help with the flingers. And I think that about wraps it up for the storm shield. Oh, I changed one other thing on my geyser. I took out the secondary storm shield path. I don't remember if I had it in for the video, but I had a, I was experimenting with a secondary pathing for the storm shield. It was kind of like this, went up, and then it like, or maybe it was full here. I think it was full. And then it went to a angled like this, and then it like, it looped around and went up to the top. You don't need that. Um, I don't know if I put it in the video or not, but you don't need that because I changed this path thing. So I made this just to be a slant. And then I extended the path thing right here by t one more brought it one more down you also need this to be like this oh wait no you need it to be like this i believe if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong you might just need the one on top um yeah so you need that and then yeah i have put the traps back in on this but yeah, you can just use that right there, and they'll all path up, and then they'll just loop back around and get stuck back in the geyser. But that about sums up my updates for Storm Shield, and I hope you guys enjoy building.